Hey there, everybody. It's Thursday. We'll make it throwback Thursday today. Yeah, you like that little throwback to the old intro. Hey, my name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you get your daily dose from me. We talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of owning your own business. This week, we are talking about work that matters. So um, if that matters to you, which it should, you're in the right place. Hey, if you and if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, maybe watching on iTunes, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. 7 minutes in the morning.com where you can join in the conversation. Speaking of which, just a reminder, pre-recorded again today, but I am in the comments listening. I am enjoying immensely having my daughter and granddaughter here. Just trying to keep the peace early in the morning and let them sleep a little bit. But I will be in the comments answering your thoughts and inputs. So be sure and leave a comment there. Say hi, uh, ask a question. Whatever you have. All right. So this week we've been talking about work that matters. And just a quick reminder, work that matters uh, is work that leaves a net positive value in the world around you. And if you take out your compensation, what's left should be positive, not negative. All right? If it is, then you're doing work that matters. We do work that matters when we work in our gifts and leverage our talents. And yesterday we were talking about um, some tests about whether you are doing work that matters. And if you, um, if time, location, and money were not an issue, what would you do? That might give you an indication of what um, those gifts and talents are. A little sip of water there. So <clears throat> today I want to talk to you about how to begin to explore those things. Now, it might be fun to think of, well, yeah, you know what? I really am supposed to be a painter with my own TV show. Let me get a big bushy uh, afro and and start my own show on PBS. Well, okay, that might be true, but if that's not what you're doing right now, I'm not necessarily advocating that you you know toss everything in the back of the bug bus and start doing that. What I am suggesting is that you will find more fulfillment. You will make a better, a, a stronger mark. You'll put your ding in the universe, as Steve Jobs said if you're working in your gifts, leveraging your talents, right? So if you're not doing that presently, take some time and figure out what those talents are. There are innumerable tests to give you some ideas about what those talents might be. But once you figure those out, that's for me, and this would be my advice to you if we were sitting down across the table one-on-one or having a cup of coffee is start your side hustle with that. Right. If that's something that you're you're really interested in, you're gifted and talented in, start up your side hustle. See if you can get some customers going. If you can, great. If you can't, that doesn't necessarily mean that's not where your gifts and talents are. Maybe you're just not well, like you may maybe you're not particularly gifted at marketing. Right. We can work on that, and we will work on that moving uh, as we move forward. But that, that's a, you're actually in a really good place. If you've got a, we'll call it a day job, you got a day job and you think that your gifts and talents might lie somewhere else, not a problem, man. Let me know. Shoot me a note and I will help you kind of put some structure around, um, how to create a, a business, a revenue stream off of those gifts and talents. And as that begins to take on its own structure and its own shape, you will find that it becomes stronger and then hopefully the the day job begins to diminish. Now, at some point, you're going to reach this equilibrium point, this tipping point, right, where you got to jump out of one boat and in the other. There's this great scene in, uh, uh, what's that movie, Sweet Home Alabama, where he tells his daughter, you can't ride two donkeys with one rear end. Right. At some point, you got to get on one or the other. Okay. So, but, but that, that may, that's very likely in the future for you. I want you to figure out kind of where those gifts and talents are and start, start envisioning a structure. And the way to do that is to use, and I, I mean, I've told you guys about my, my composition books. 
first page of every composition book starts out with the sentence, I envision a time when. So if you've got this idea that these are your gifts and talents, start with that sentence, I envision a time when, and start building out what that would look like. How would you build a business around that? And then, um, by all means, shoot me a message so that I can help you put some structure around them. All right. So that's it. That's really the, the simple message for today. As you begin to explore what your gifts and, and talents are, start thinking about how you will put that together. Right. This, this whole idea of, you know, one job and, and that's all we can ever do. That's a bunch of baloney, right? Don't, don't buy that baloney sandwich. Um, we can have as many as we want. And in fact, diversity is a good thing. We should have multiples. All right. But before we get too far into the woods on that, just figure out what that would look like. Begin to put some, uh, descriptions around that. Whoo, excuse me. That was an ugly cough. Good thing I have the cough button now. <laughs> You'd have to hear that. Start putting some descriptions around that. And then uh, join me back here tomorrow. Not sure how I want to work out tomorrow yet. I still want to do a, a, a free coaching Friday. I might have to do that. I might have to go to the coffee shop or something to do that. But, uh, hey, we'll figure it out, whatever it is. Be back here. I, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm just going to go ahead and commit. I'll do tomorrow's show live. And uh, if you will commit to joining me and bringing your questions about doing work that matters, I'll do everything I can to answer them. It's your chance to try and stump the coach tomorrow on Free Coaching Friday. So don't be late. Be here and have your questions all loaded up. That's it for today. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. I will talk to you again in the morning.